everybody. In this video, we are at Niagara Falls, New York. That's right. We're going to show you what the falls looks like during the winter. Not a lot of people come here this time of year, and it's very really scenic to see. So let's roll that introduction footage, and we'll catch you on the other side with the falls. So we're here at Niagara Falls, New York, and we're in the Niagara Falls State Park. And it's winter time, so it's a little bit of a different view of the uh, falls than you would get any other time of the year. Obviously, there's a lot of ice and uh, frozen water, but there's also a, a lot less people here. So this is, if you really want to get a unique experience of coming to Niagara Falls, you definitely want to take the trip up here during the winter. You know, this is March, and the place it's a reasonably nice day out I mean it's it's sunny um, it's a little you know a little chilly but the Sun is out so yeah that makes for a nice day and it's not snowing So we'll see, what's some of the interesting facts we learned about Niagara Falls? It's, it's the oldest, what, the oldest state park in the United States. Right, and the first state park in New York, obviously. Um, the, the falls is actually moving. Um, there's a, you know, there's, the water causes erosion. And I guess I read where in 10,000 years, the falls had actually moved 6.8 miles so it was like 6.8 miles farther down the river before it came to here now here would you read it was like a foot a year or six yeah, a, six a foot, a foot a year about yeah. a foot a year yeah. worth of erosion but it's more controlled now because they um, siphon water off for the hydroelectric plant and so they take about 10 percent of the falls water away during the day and they take up, up to 50 percent of the water away during at night when people aren't here and that is to fill up a reservoir which they use to build hydroelectric. Um, Niagara Falls has always been an attraction to daredevils. Um, uh, Including, what's his name? Willinda. Yeah, Willinda, who's going over a volcano this week, also went over the uh, Yeah, he, he crossed Niagara Falls on a tightrope. Um, but they've, they've been doing that for years, you know some type of daredevil crossing the falls or trying to go over the falls in a barrel or, or whatever it is. Um, some have been successful, a number of them have not been successful. Yeah. So there are many ways to get to Canada. You can drive to Canada, but one of the interesting ways is you can actually walk across the um, Rainbow Bridge to Canada, which we've done many times, and in, especially in the summertime, it's a good way to get over there and avoid a lot of the traffic. Because the, you could wait on the bridge for a half hour to an hour to get across, to go through customs and everything. Where if you're going just across, walking it just takes you a few minutes, and it's, you also get the great views. You, you know, you're crossing a, a, a U.S. border, so you need to make sure you have a passport to get into Canada and to get back into the U.S. So make sure when you come here, you bring your passport. 
Um, the views on the U.S. and the Canadian side are very different. Actually, the, the Niagara Falls, um, New York and Niagara Falls, Ontario are very different, really. They're, they consider them twin cities, but Niagara Falls, Ontario is much more touristy. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've got a lot of, you know, they've got like, you know, Wrigley's Leave It or Night shops and a whole bunch of tourist attractions over there that you can go to. On the U.S. side, it's not so much, though. There is a casino over here that the Seneca Indian Reservation runs. Um, but this side of the falls has really never drawn as much of a touristy exposure. A lot of it because I think the state took over a lot of the property close to the falls and made it all state park. There's also Goat Island. We just crossed over the American side of the Niagara River on our way to see the, the American Falls from Goat Island. We are on Goat Island now. This is the island that separates the American Falls from the Canadian Falls. So we're going to go check the views. This is a view of the Canadian Horseshoe Falls from the American side. So what do you think of Niagara Falls in the winter? Um, it's pretty. It's pretty? It's pretty. I don't know if I've ever been to all these different so it's been a while, I'm sure, yeah. since we've been around here and checked this out. And it's been a long time since we've been here in the winter. Oh yeah. 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 But it is, it is pretty pretty spectacular, I can say the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seeing all the different areas of the falls is really neat. Yes it is. It is very cool. Well, we've had fun touring around uh, Niagara Falls. Like we said, it was a sunny day, a little chilly, but um, it was fun. And there was quite a few people up here doing the same thing we do. We did. Yeah, and it's but not really crowded. I mean, this was a nice time to come here and and look around Niagara Falls without having to deal with big crowds. It was easy to find a place to park, um, and it was really a nice. Right, nice. and we got to see things we probably have never seen before. So, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that's right and make sure to ring the bell so you get notifications we post new videos on a weekly basis and we love to have you follow along with us so until then we'll see you down the road